What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today, we are doing another reaction YouTube video. I know, you guys like these, so let's, let's check them out. Uh, this one, got some TikTok conspiracy theories. Come on, you know, these are my favorite videos to watch, guys. If you haven't been watching my channel for a while now, I love conspiracy, I love horror stories, I love all that stuff, so let's get into this one right now. Make sure, oh, see, it told you right Scariest there. Scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your life. Part mm. 11. Today we are talking about time loops. This is mental and very, very confusing. So you've seen films such as Groundhog Day, Palm Springs, or Dark or anything. You can kind of get the gist of this, but people are kind of stuck in a time loop reliving the same day again and again and again. Like things like Groundhog Day, Happy Death Day, all that kind of stuff. What if this actually exists in real life? The theory is maybe there are some kind of wormholy weird places on Earth that connect interdimensionally with parallel universe. I told you it was confusing, didn't I? Now, if you don't know parallel universes, the universe is the same as ours, but things play out differently. But maybe there are actual things like this out there. So, kind of think of it as if, like, a black hole, but on Earth. And maybe when you enter this, it kind of freezes time, so you're just stuck on your own. Almost like in your own bubble, just going through the same day again and again and again. I mean, it's mental and a... Yeah, see, but going through your same day over and over again, but, like, I know I, you know, do different things every single day and so does every other person. I've heard of this theory before. I, I don't know. Theory, I'm a little bit in the middle about it. What do you guys think? I'm a little in the middle. kind of could be possible, but it's still so bad. The childhood conspiracy theory iceberg. This picture represents conspiracy theories that will change your childhood forever. As always, make sure to join the Discord for the full list. This is tier one. Mrs. Puff is a psychopath. We've all seen SpongeBob and we've all- Damn, Mrs. Puff's got it like that, huh? Seen Mrs. Puff. Oh my god. On the episode titled No Free Rides in season two, Mrs. Puff says this. What have I done? Everyone will know that I let him slide through school. I'll have to move to a new city, start a new boating school with a new name. No. No, nah, no, nah, see, she's not a psychopath. I understand exactly how that is. I don't want to move to a new city, start a brand new business. That shit sucks. <laughs> this is hinting that Mrs. Puff has She's normal, not psychopathic. <laughs> and I promise this gets worse. In season 12, episode 21, SpongeBob is helping her organize some of her junk and he comes across a newspaper that says, deranged boat teacher makes getaway. So the real question remains, who is Mrs. Puff? Make sure to like and follow for tomorrow's video. I'm going to show you possibly <laughs> the biggest lie in history, at least if a lie could be measured by money. And that is because it is a lie two specific companies would love you to believe. Unfortunately, many say there may be nothing we can do to fix this lie. And the lie is that there is a world's richest person. Currently, this richest person is Elon Musk. We all know Elon Musk is not the richest. I mean, come on. You got the royal family. You got the royal family. Um, is it called I'm the, the sure Qataris? You some of the I, darkest I think. Darkest organizations the want you to believe in this. Iraq? According to Forbes, people. All the oil people. They're the richest people, trust me. Like Elon and Jeff Bezos are the world's richest people, but they can only list people whose assets are visible or public knowledge. Mm. Try as you might, there are people in organizations with assets so secret it is impossible to calculate their wealth. And since wealth yep, is unfortunately yep. power, this is a problem. For example, Black there is guard, no way Vanguard. to know the worth of Vladimir Putin or the Saudi family. People can give estimates like saying they're worth $1.4 trillion, Black but this is Black nothing Rock more than Vanguard a guess. Sure. Knowing that assets can be hidden leads us to these two organizations, BlackRock and Vanguard. Oh and there man, is good I know this. Many people say I was these right. companies run the world. And the strange part is yep. that both of these companies are the biggest investor of the other. For many, hmm. this is a massive warning sign, especially since they own a huge stake in all the major news networks. This includes Fox and CNN. And on a side note, they would seem to profit from the rhetoric that keeps us divided, along with having major sway in what the networks that's interesting. Vanguard and BlackRock both own one uh, CNN and Fox News. Okay, they are both polar opposites of each other. CNN is so far left and Fox is so far right. It's like maybe they did it on purpose to make a conflict. I don't know. I Seems kind of Vanguard interesting. owns huge shares in Pfizer, oil and gas. They hold Shell, even Microsoft. And the scariest part is that they hold majority voting power in many of their investments. So who is the owner of them? They are so mm. heavily invested in each other, it's strange to call them two companies. A quick Google search and a legal probe will show you that nobody actually knows who owns them. 
And because the organization is private, nobody knows who is a member of the company. Though Vanguard has said that BlackRock has a unique company structure, which doesn't sound sketchy at all. There is one very public figure, however, and this is Larry Fink. He loves working at deep levels oh, yeah. in the government and has no political... I wonder if this lady is still alive after this video. <laughs> because he will go wherever the money flows. He tried being the secretary for Hillary Clinton and was brought on as an advisor for Trump. He plays both sides. We saw this as he tried for the position of secretary for the Biden administration. So with all this yeah. mystery around the BlackRock Vanguard group, who is the richest person? If we go back in history, we can see that the Rothschild family is one of BlackRock and Vanguard's biggest holders. Yep. And conspiracy theorists have had a heyday with- yep. Come on, you got the Rockefellers, you got all those rich people from the beginning of time that we know it. The stories of They're this the family ones. over decades. Other they run this whole country. Bush they run the whole world. And Watch. Even the royal family it's going to come out true. So though we may know the families tied to these organizations, we may never know who runs them. And these shady individuals clearly have a reason they want to keep it that way. Welcome to the Gleek.com channel as we reveal more about the world of money and crypto. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk too much about BlackRock because I, I like my life. I don't want to wind up dead. Here's so. a true story from Next. Antarctica that has me asking a lot of questions. A naval flight engineer tells the story of his experience in McMurdo Station, Antarctica around 1994. <laughs> What's this dude doing in a, a blanket around his head? <laughs> Fly this huge plane around the continent and do assignments like drop people off pick people up, stuff like that. Whenever they would fly toward the pole, they would always get to the same spot called Beardmore Glacier. In this mm. area and throughout the continent, it's so common to see flying circular craft flying up and down and in pairs all around them. During lunchtime, they would all have discussions about this and one thing they all noticed was that these craft would never fly through the no-fly zone near Beardmore Glacier. They thought mm. there was some sort of barrier or territorial agreement that they couldn't go there. One day there was a medical accident on the other side of the continent and this crew realized that it would take them six hours to get to this man. The captain knew that flying through this no-fly zone would actually be faster than going around so he asked why they couldn't fly through the zone. And the answer they got was that it was an air monitoring station. They concluded that they're high enough and that they wouldn't contaminate the air so they decided to fly through this no-fly zone. So they're flying and they're all looking down. Look, and they noticed that there's this huge hole in the ice that was probably the what? size of a football field. It led deep under the ice. Of course, they were all mystified and they no. all had so much questions on what this hole was. They pick up this guy and they head straight back to McMurdo Station. As soon as they land, they're met with a guy in an all black suit. Remember, this is Antarctica, so this must have been really important. The crew was told by this man, what you saw at pole, you did not see. You do not talk about this because you never saw it. After much rumors, they realized what this thing could really have been. It is said that extraterrestrials and the government are working together within this hole as some sort of collaboration. Yo, we all know we've heard all the conspiracy theories talk about this Agartha theory and all this stuff. But after what this government guy said, I'm really starting to think about it. Whistleblowers have reported this stuff so many times guys think because there are so many possibilities on what this thing could be i don't know this story at all especially since so many soldiers report this i'm telling you guys aliens are one thing man but <sighs> you never know what's coming from other planets and that's the scariest thing you don't know if it's aliens you don't know if it's animals you don't know if it's bacteria or disease or whatever it could be and i bet you and i bet you that that stuff is all around us and we don't even know it and I bet you that the government does know about it, the military knows about it, at least the higher ups in the militaries, right? Because the little fish, the ones who are really out in the battlefield, they don't know anything about it. Um, they might hear and oversee things, or over overhear and, and, and see things, but they are told not to comment, they're told not to talk, because that's the way that we live. That's the world we live in nowadays. We just have to shut up. If it doesn't help their narrative, then we don't get to talk about it. So. You ever heard of the lottery it's conspiracy crazy. theory? You know when you go inside of a gas station and you find lottery tickets and people buy them and they scratch them off in hopes of winning millions of dollars. What if I told you- First of all, I love lottery scratch off tickets. Man, <laughs> I get them 
uh, like for Christmas, my parents would get me uh, lottery scratch off tickets, just a couple of dollars. It's always been like my favorite thing, man. It, me and my brother both. What do you do about the conspiracy theory that says the government created the lottery in order to catch time travelers? I know it sounds crazy, but just bear with me. It's going to make a lot of sense. Okay, so people believe the government created the lottery in order to catch time travelers. The chance of winning the lottery right now is about 1 in 14 million. So statistically, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Now let's take a look at one of the most popular... I actually knew somebody that was struck by lightning, and it's no joke. Popular it's lottery serious. called the Mega Millions. You have a 1 in 300 million chance of winning this lottery. Hey, you know what you don't have 1 in 300 million chance of? Liking this video. Please leave me a like and subscribe, guys. That was clean. Or in I other like words, that. you would need to be struck by lightning 21 times back to back to back in order to win this lottery. So the odds of winning are nearly impossible. So that's why people believe the government created this in order mm. to catch time travelers is because the time travelers would know exactly where to go and nah, exactly which one. God, that was a mouthful to say, but I make sure to like and follow uh -uh. if you guys want to see more videos. Nah, I don't believe in that. The reason that they created the lottery is to take our money because taxes ain't paying them enough, I guess. This Come video on. recently surfaced. Come on, let's be serious. Let's a go. Mosquito, which appears to have the number 38 written on it. And I mean, what? what the hell is this all about? Of course, this has started conspiracy theories all over the internet. But one theory basically Maybe being he's that got 38 drones, bodies? You know, people Come believe on. birds are drones. A lot of people actually believe pigeons, like every single pigeon is a drone. And get this, some people actually believe that the lockdown was staged by the government so they could replace all the birds slash drones batteries. People are saying potentially That's this crazy. is like... I don't know, some government test or something, they're releasing some disease or whatever, who knows. The theory more believable, maybe they're doing tests on a group of mosquitoes and, you know, just put numbers on the back to categorize them or whatever. What makes it a bit creepier is that he didn't just find this one with a number on it, there was several the next day he found them, blah blah blah. But I mean, who knows, obviously it opens up the internet to a lot of theories, so let me know in the comments what you think, hit that follow button and I'll keep you updated. I know we have, um, there's theories about cameras and birds and pigeons um and that they're not actually real they're just used to spy on us and while that can totally be true it it makes my skin crawl a little bit because every single day i look out that window right there i see tons of birds i've seen pigeons all over the place um i, I don't know just to me in general i think the government's got their hand in a lot of things that we don't want them to be in and we need to wake up as a country because some of these conspiracy theories that we just watched I bet you they're true and they're crazy But they're true and you're gonna find out that in the next couple of years or even a couple a couple months Some of this stuff's gonna come true uh, at least in my lifetime and probably yours watching this video, too You're gonna see some of this stuff come out to be true now I want to say thank you for watching the video guys leave a like and subscribe leave a comment down below if you guys want to see a different type of video than this and I will go ahead and make another reaction video check out my youtube shorts guys those are some pretty good videos and I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, I'm going to love you and leave you with a nice O. Adios.